Hello, Facebook family. Coach Ed coming here with a little car talk. And I want to bring as a subject why and if. Okay? What if, okay? And why. You know, it's kind of important to, if you got something that, that of any benefit, you might want to know why. You know, why do you want to do it? What what motivates you to do it? What, what would be the benefits of you doing it? Everybody's why is different, you know. Um, I want to take some of my grandkids to Disney World. As I make this recording, June 5th, 2020, it's a goal. It's important. Uh, that's one of my whys, of why I want to do the things I'm doing, okay? So I'd highly positively motivates me okay so you want to figure out what your why is and why you would want to do something and why you would want to go through all the things I talk about stretching like a rubber band coming out of your comfort zone and if you kind of know what's at the end of the tunnel if you can get there well it's a motivating factor you know it's kind of cool knowing what you're going to get when you get to the finish line and then it makes you want to do something else again. So goals can create and generate activity, action. Knowing what your why is will create activity. If you really know what it is and you decide you want to go after it. Okay, so uh, figure out what your why is. You know, the more whys you got, the better it'll be. What if? Okay, well, what if uh, you make a lot of money? What if you get to go on numerous trips? What if you can get a newer car? What if you can get a bigger house? What if you help a lot of people? What if you become a stronger person? I mean, it goes on and on and on. I think you get the message, so you need to ask yourself, what if? Okay, so if you've got these things that's holding you back, and something that you want to do and something you want to accomplish bombard your mind and heart with the what ifs what if what if you know because a lot of people want to fill that with a negative what if okay well i'm going to fill my life with the what if positives okay now i'm very realistic in my thinking and i don't want to go in la lu land and not but i do believe I, it's healthy and it's okay to dream okay a lot of people have quit dreaming uh, you know I want to get that dream back in you okay uh, if you already got a big dream in you I want to make it bigger. I want to get you wired and fired and inspired and if you bombard your mind with what if what if I become six more successful what if I get to quit my J-O-B, just over broke. Now, I don't say that disrespectfully, but a job, J-O-B, a lot of times you're just getting by, okay? You're, you're working just to live, okay? Just to get the, to meet the necessities. I'm not knocking that, but there's bigger things out there. If you expand your thinking, if you begin to think about what if, what if, and you know, what my whys are. If you keep telling yourself that, that's pretty cool. It's going to make a difference. It's going to help you out. It's going to get you what you deserve. Okay? You deserve a lot more than you've been getting. But if you keep on doing what you've been doing, you'll keep on getting what you've been getting. And if you're content with that, well, I guess there's not much we can do with you. But some people aren't content with what they got. I'm not content. Now, I want to, what I mean by that is I want to get, I want to grow more, be more, get more. Yeah, I do. Absolutely. That's what God made me. Okay. And I'm not going to apologize for that. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't be happy with what you got, but I'm never going to be satisfied when I can do more. Okay. You know, it kind of, it kind of hits on my conscience when I feel like I can do much more than I'm doing. So believe me, if there's anybody challenged with all this stuff and who I'm really talking to right now, I'm talking to Coach Ed because, I mean, I don't have it all together. Trust me. You said, well, I already knew that because I know you, Coach Ed. I know you don't got it all together. And I don't, I've never really met anybody 
yet that did. But I've met some people that had some tremendous ideas. I've met some people that's actually lived and walked and talked what we're talking about. And, I, and it's been modeled to me. So figure out what your why is. Uh, what if I get to quit my job? Because I'm going to tell you something. You need to highly think about a part-time, your part-time opportunity to earn some extra income and help someone. Right now, you have an opportunity with me or someone else to work from your home. Okay, I think that's a pretty cool deal when you can work from your house, you can work on your smartphone, or you can work on your computer. And yes, you gotta learn some things. Yes, you gotta go through the fire. You know, my gold bracelet here, yeah, I hope you can see it, they purified through the fire. So if you wanna come out like a brick bright 14 karat bracelet, then you gotta go through the fire. You gotta stretch. You gotta get uncomfortable. And then you will even get more wise. You'll say, well, and, and then you'll have more, what about if this? You know, what about that? What about if I start feeding people? Boy, wouldn't that be cool? You know, I, I'm listening to a guy, he's one of my mentors, Tony Robbins. And he's feeding lots of people. Isn't that cool? I mean, you know, there's a lot of people out there that they're hurt and they need help. And you can't you can't be a blessing to them like you could be if you don't step up. If you don't come out of your comfort zone. Uh, raise your level of thinking. Okay, don't see how little you can do. See how much you can do. There's no traffic jams on the extra mile. Okay, uh, hope, hopefully you're getting some value here. I know a lot of people, uh, they, they pop in, they pop out. Hopefully you hear something you can resonate with. If you are, uh, I hope you'll, you'll share it with other people. Uh, you know, share it any way you can. There's a lot of platforms out there. Uh, I tell you, this day and age, if you want to do a home-based business with social media, you can do it, okay? There's just too many platforms out there. No, you don't have to be uh, doing Facebook Live. This used to petrify me. And I still get uh, a little shaky, you know, because I'm not used to doing this, you know. And, you know, you get to thinking, well, what, I want to say something good. I want it to come out good, blah, 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 blah. But, hey, uh, the social media is huge there's so many platforms out there and there's no reason why you cannot earn money part-time with your smartphone your desktop isn't that cool hey, with social media you could start like your own little TV station okay and if you can't do Facebook live if you get involved I bet you'll find somebody that can and then you'll reap the benefits of what they're doing because you're helping them and they're helping you. It's just a cool thing and you can build what we call a residual income. Now residual income comes month after month, month after month and it just keeps on going and instead of getting paid one time you can get paid several times and then when you start getting people involved in your business Okay, and when they start sharing, and, and most won't, but some will, then you start growing with more people, and they share the story, and things start growing. And I always say to people, would you work for a penny a day if they doubled it every day? Now, you know, most people have to think about that. Well, that'd be uh, one penny the first day, two, and four, the, and so forth and so on. But on the 30th day, it would be over a million dollars a day. It's called geometric progression. And what happens, things start multiplying, kind of like when you roll a snowball. Now, I know you've seen somebody, and you've done it before, you roll the snowball. Well, it's just that compound effect, because you'll go from two people, and you'll look up, and you'll have four people. Now you have four people that might share some information, and then that can grow 
to some more people, okay? And I get it, it can die out, but you, if you just keep working it, something's going to happen. I look up now and I got 2,800 people uh, under uh, on my team, and I didn't bring most of them and in, in, in get them involved. Somebody else did it. Who did it? My team did it. So you can actually build a team. Yeah, a team. And that's pretty cool stuff when you can build a team and then that team can grow and grow. And yeah, you could look and say, well, what about if one day I got people in other countries? Because I, so I F myself with the fact of what if, what if, what if, and positive stuff. And some of those if, what ifs have come to reality and it's going to grow even more. I hope you're getting value. I'm going to get off here. I'm probably going to jump back on here in a second. But I'm going to take a little break let you go here. And God bless you. hope you got some value. If you did, share the information.